welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody's having a great start to the weekend. Today's video I'm really excited about. There is a farmer's market where I live and they're offering this an amazing grocery box for $150, which blows my mind because I don't know about you. Yeah, baby? Yeah, they are. Yeah, can you put them back on the counter, sweetheart? <laughs> so anyways, this farmer's market's offering this grocery box for $150, which blows my mind because I don't know about you, but my grocery bill has been super duper expensive lately. No matter how much planning that I'm doing, I don't know, I just feel like groceries are expensive. So I'm gonna put the list here right now with everything that this farmer's market is offering. So I put my name on the list for a box and we're going to pick it up today and then I'm gonna do a grocery haul and show you this amazing produce. It sounds too good to be true and you know what, I would rather support local farmers around Alberta than kind of the big box supermarket sometimes. So I'm gonna take you guys with us as we go to pick up this grocery box. Ava's gonna come on the drive too because poor little one, she's just dying to get outside. All right, let's get back into groceries. And again, this is supporting the Calgary Farmers Market and I am over the moon to support local farmers. So let's see what they have in store for us. farmer's markets so I'm just gonna call them to bring out my box seems really busy here at the farmer's market but I am so excited to support local farmers and I'm so excited to see how fresh this produce is gonna be okay so here is the box fresh eggs strawberries this looks great so let's go home and see what we got Okay, so we've picked up our groceries from the farmer's market and now, like I said, we're off to Superstore because I placed an online order just for a few bits and pieces just to really round out some of our meals that we're having this week. So I guess it's all about groceries today. Groceries, food, and meal plans. No wonder my jeans are tight. are back from our trip to the farmers market and to pick up groceries and I am so excited to check out this Calgary farmers market fresh food box honestly $150 for all of this it is blowing my mind I don't know about you but my husband and I have been having this huge discussion after every time I pick up groceries our bill is so high I, I stick to my meal plans, I go through our cupboards, I try and use up what's in our freezer, I try and use up the fresh ingredients first, and yet still I can't get this bill to be lower. But 150 bucks for this, and it's all supporting local farmers, I am all for it. I did also place an online order with Superstore just to kind of get a couple of... <laughs> <laughs> I also placed an online order with Superstore just to get a few other ingredients to kind of round up my meals. I also just needed some around the house products. So let's get into this grocery haul. And if this stuff is what I hope it is, then I am totally going to do this from now on. You cannot beat this. Okay, let's start out. I believe every Saturday you can register for this box and they have a big list and they tell you exactly what you're gonna get in the box. Also new to next week is that they're also gonna do, I think like a vegan or a vegetarian friendly box, which is absolutely outstanding. I can't believe all the choices that you're getting. Next week's fresh food box sounds delicious. I think there's like chicken parm and there's hamburgers and everything, but I thought that I would give this week's box a try and then we'll see what we're gonna do from here on out. So this first, <laughs> 
<laughs> this first item I know my husband's not a big fan of, but this is some fresh kale. So beautiful fresh kale here and you know what, I, I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it either and that's probably because I don't know how to prepare it properly. I don't know, like I've heard some people say they have like amazing kale Caesar salads or they put it in smoothies. So let me know in the comments down below if you know what to do with kale. But I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, next in the box, ooh, let's see. Okay, some organic fresh strawberries. These look delicious. Actually, these look really nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. And Ava's such a berry fan, she's gonna be so excited. Then we got some farm fresh eggs, free range eggs. These look great, and where are these from? Grown and grated in Alberta. Home grown eggs. Okay, and then next you get two liters of milk as well. Two liters of 2% milk. Okay, oh I'll get this one out the way. Look at this, six ears. Are they called ears? ears of corn? No. Six ears of corn, and I'm gonna take these out of the bag. They're humongous. Look at how big these ears of corn are. I cannot wait. There's nothing better than like fresh corn on the cob, like roasted on the barbecue. Oh, and then with the leftover corn, you can make like a roasted corn salad. Oh, so excited. I'll share my, my meal plan with you guys next. Okay. Next up, we have a bag of mini cucumbers. And again, these are all farmer's markets, so they aren't like big chains, you're supporting local. Oh, these look delicious. A bag of cherry tomatoes. Hmm. Okay, I'm kind of bouncing around here. Oh, wow. Oh, we get two containers of strawberries. Awesome. I will definitely freeze one container for our upcoming smoothies. A big bunch of bananas. Obviously these aren't from Alberta, but <laughs> move this box over, holy cow. Two onions, which is great because I need those. Oh my gosh, these are the biggest lemons I've ever seen. Three lemons, these oh, look good. <laughs> And then three limes, which is perfect because I want some Coronas. Maybe we should have some margaritas, babe. Let's do margaritas. Oh, these look good. Look at these, fresh bulbs of garlic. These are enormous and these look delicious. Ooh, yeah. Two pounds of carrots. Noisy with carrots. Okay, maybe I will do the bread next. So we get a fresh baked whole wheat loaf. And then we get a fresh baked sourdough loaf. And I'll tell you right away, as soon as I said to my husband that they have sourdough, he requested my spinach dip. So tonight we're gonna have Appy's night and I'm gonna make a fresh spinach dip with the sourdough. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. And then to go along with the bread, you get a fresh strawberry jam. Then we have some sweet Italian chicken sausage. Then a pound of breakfast sausage. This box is like never ending. Okay, and then we have a pound of lean ground beef, which is great. And then I'm not gonna take this out. Okay, what is, oh! That's what that is. Okay, so it said a marinated spatchcock chicken. I didn't understand what that was, and it looks like it's like deboned, but it's like a whole, I, don't, I know some people don't like looking at meat, but it's like a whole chicken and it's marinated. This looks delicious, okay. Meals are set, and then the last item, oh. Ava's gonna be excited about this, but it is three liters of 100% pure apple juice. Three liters, oh my goodness. Holy tamale. Okay, so up close, here is all the items from the farmer's market. We got our apple juice, our chicken sausage, the marinated spatchcock chicken, we got ground beef, 
and breakfast sausages, this amazing corn, two onions, two garlic, three lemons, three limes, mini cucumbers. I think there's like, yeah, there's six mini cucumbers in here. Amazing cherry tomatoes. Don't these look good? I can't wait to have one of these. A bag of kale, two pounds of carrots, two packages of organic strawberries, two liters of 2% milk, a dozen eggs, bananas, a whole wheat loaf, a sourdough, and a homemade strawberry jam. And this is all for $150 supporting local farmers. And I am so happy to do that. Okay, then for part two of this grocery haul, again, this is just from a local supermarket chain here in Canada called Superstore, and I'll show you a couple items that I picked up. I picked up some radishes, because I'm gonna make potato salad, and some green onions, and apples, because we all know that Ava loves her apples with peanut butter. And then she's a blueberry monster right now, so I got this package of organic blueberries. They were on sale. Then I needed a Hellman's olive oil mayonnaise. Merrick wanted some relish. And then the zesty Italian salad dressing. I use this for everything. And then I mentioned before, a uh, roasted corn salad. And I always use this as a dressing and it's delish. Then I got some hamburger buns because I'm gonna be making hamburgers this week with that lean ground beef. And some marble cheese strings because Ava likes these for snacks or sometimes even like for breakfast if she's just having a piece of toast. I give this to her just for some extra protein. We needed some more crumbled feta because I put that in that corn salad. Please don't come at me for this, parents, caregivers. I know I can make my own homemade chicken fingers and fries and I have and I'm quite happy with my recipe. But when my little girl just wants something quick and easy or rather... Mirik and I want to do something quick and easy. These President's Choice pub style recipe chicken nuggets are great. And the Vicane Super Fries in a Jiffy, pop them in the air fryer. And then we have dinner. And I know it's not a regular thing. It's just a once in a while. Then we got this chopped spinach, water chestnuts, and sour cream to help with our spinach dip. And then this tortellini was on sale. So Ava really likes beef tortellini. I usually like making my own pasta, but tortellini is one thing I don't know how to do. And then this rosé sauce, and it was on sale for two for $7, so why not? Then I needed to do some laundry, so <laughs> we needed more Tide Pods. You know, that darn laundry that always piles up. And I keep seeing a lot of frontline health workers talk about this Lysol disinfectant mist. Um, they always keep a bottle of this in their car and I see them spraying it in their car. I saw a couple videos on TikTok. Yes, I got addicted to TikTok. So I thought that I would give this a try and pop this in our car. So here is the Calgary Farmer's Market food. And then this is just a few little items that I picked up from Superstore. Okay, so before we wrap up this video, I did promise you guys my meal plan. So I took the list from the fresh food box and then based on those items, I also looked in my pantry and in my fridge and in my freezer and figured out what meals I can come up with. So I got my handy dandy weekly meal planner. I'll put that link in the description down below so that you guys can see how I meal plan for my family. So on Monday, we're gonna have caprese salad and I have mozzarella in the fridge already. I have a fresh basil plant that I picked up at the garden center and then I'm going to make it with these fresh cherry tomatoes which should be delicious and then we're also going to have some tortellini with that. So great. And then on Tuesday we're going to have a Greek salad. So with that Greek salad obviously I'm going to use up these cucumbers and feta and then I also have peppers already in the fridge. And I have a really great Greek dressing as well. And then with that, we have some amazing beef ribs. So my husband's gonna barbecue those ribs. Then Wednesday, we are gonna use up this marinated spatchcock chicken that we got from the farmer's market, along with barbecued carrots and onions and potatoes, just with a little bit of butter on the barbecue. Guys, it's so good. So <laughs> Then on Thursday, I'm gonna make homemade hamburgers and then I'm gonna roast up that corn that we got and some of the leftover tomatoes and I'm gonna make a really delicious roasted corn salad. On Friday, I'm gonna use up that chicken sausage and then 
from the radishes, I already have some potatoes. I'm gonna make some potato salad. Then on Thursday, I'm gonna make a homemade quiche. So I already have some pastry shells. I'm gonna use up some of those eggs, some cheese, bacon, peppers. It's gonna be delish. Maybe, uh, can you throw, maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw kale in there. Hey, maybe I'll use up the kale. And then Sundays I always kind of leave open because we never know and sometimes we order in. But tonight is Saturday, so we are. I'm filming this on Saturday, and like I said, I'm gonna do a total Appies night. I'm gonna make a homemade spinach dip. Look at this sourdough, I just can't wait to eat it. We're gonna make a homemade spinach dip with this sourdough loaf. So I think all in all, I am quite happy with this farmer's market box. I can't wait to try everything. All right, I forgot. Pork breakfast sausage. Maybe I'll cut this up and put it in the quiche instead of bacon. That'll probably be delicious. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna use that instead of bacon. I'll put that on my plan. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Again, I'll put the links to everything that I talked about today, especially the Calgary Farmer's Market Fresh Food Box. I highly recommend that you try it. Everything looks absolutely delicious. Before we wrap this up though, I wanted to give you an update on what I'm growing. So if you looked back at my videos a few days ago, I did a garden project. Ever since I did that video, it has been torrential downpour. So it's kind of put, it's kind of dampened our plans. So my husband is waiting for the next nice day. He's going to build as these amazing planters. I am so happy to support local farmers, but I'm also really excited to start learning how to grow my own produce and my own food especially with a little one, she can learn and plant and see the seed sprout. So I know that she's really excited, but I also wanted to show you guys that I'm growing my own food inside just here on my little windowsill. So I didn't know that you could grow romaine. So this is my romaine. All I did was take clippings of romaine and it says to put it in a bowl, about an inch of water and I replace the water every day and I have fresh romaine growing. You know what, I think that if I can support more local, grow my own food, really take advantage of this time, this extra time that we have on our hands, I think that'll be a little bit more fulfilling and it'll encourage us to eat healthier, which is really hard to do. I'm an emotional eater and I eat my feelings. Yes, I will admit it, that's why I dress like Johnny Cash and all in black, hides my, uh, my little fluff. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this farmer's market haul, this grocery haul, meal plan, a little bit of gardening update. Click that like and subscribe button down below, and I hope you guys know how much I really do appreciate you tuning in to watch these videos. Catch you guys later. Bye.